a lot of issues come up in this rack as they do in every rack. But I think the most uh, vital one is uh, getting down on the line. And I'm sure a lot of people are confused about that issue. And uh, I do it every shot, but sometimes it's a whole lot more pronounced, especially when I'm breaking. Um, but it comes up in this five ball, uh, big time. So it gives me an opportunity to explain what I mean about getting down on the line. Um, just bear with me and we'll go through it. And once we get to the five, I think we're going to stop and use a graph and really try to hit this point home because it's so, so incredibly important. And I don't know anyone talking about it. So let's do this. Let's take a quick look here. The cue ball is here. The cue to the one, the one to the two, the two to the three, three to the four, four to the five, five to the six, six to the seven, seven to the eight, and the eight to the nine. A lot of cue ball movement here. Once I get past the one, two, and three, which are up table, and then the four balls back down table, and the five balls up table, the six balls back down table, seven balls middle table, eight balls up table, and then the nine balls all the way back down table. So get prepared to open up your stroke here. Uh, we're not really concerned that much about getting close to all these balls, but way more concerned about getting the right angle. Let's roll the bean footage, turn the volume down, and bang. Uh, this can be a little tricky, and, and uh, players who are not advanced tend to try to move the cue ball a little too much here. It's only tricky because we tend to complicate things. I mean, I've seen players shoot this one and bounce off this rail and come back and try to get on this two and wind up scratching. Or going too long or coming up too short when all you really want to do is get you want to get another shot on the two the, this the three balls makeable from pretty much anywhere on the table uh, as long as we don't get behind this five ball um so you want to shoot this two in the side and just just kind of poke this yeah it's a little bit uh, the, the one ball is moving a lot in two diamonds so you're going to have to hit it semi-hard. You can't just wuss it in. It's just not going to be hard enough to make it. But um, don't go moving the cue ball all over the place. Just bounce out. Uh, right about, if you can hit dead center of this five ball, you, you'll be good on the two. To get perfect on the three. So, yeah, that was my aiming point right there. The five ball. It doesn't matter if you move the five because it's not going to, you know, it's not going to tie any other balls up. And we need an angle to get back on the six anyway, so chill out, man. I'm going to the rail here for the three. And, yeah, you got to be careful here. You don't want to put any draw on this ball at all. You want to spin it, and it looks like you might have to draw it because you have to come all the way back down to this four ball. And, but you don't. Um, you want to spin it. You're coming off this rail and trying to get past the side pocket. But if you draw it, you're going to go back to the five ball and you're going to hit it. And you're liable to get stuck behind the seven ball. You never want to hit another ball on the table unless you're absolutely trying to. Um, unless you're trying to break out a cluster, which is very common in eight ball, a little bit less common in nine ball. Or you're just trying to move another ball into a better position to make it easier for you to run out. It's all about running out. So anyway, we're, we're shooting this three ball. And the it looks like I'm putting bottom on here, but I'm really not. It would really be a dumb thing to do because what it would be doing is drawing right up behind this five ball. But I am putting a lot of left on this because I want it get past this, not just the five ball, but the side pocket and the seven ball. 
and that's what you want there. We don't have to be super close to the four ball to do what we're about to do. But, it, it, you know, you also want to get the hell away from this issue and this issue and this issue. So all, all we're doing on this shot here is going to the bottom rail with a, a little bit of right-hand English to come back. And you have to be careful. This is a scratch shot, and you don't want to scratch here. Well, you don't want to scratch ever, but um, just just be aware that this is a scratch shot. Just because you're putting right hand English on this and you're sending it right near that side pocket, so you you want to let up on your stroke. This is top right, and yeah, it's just kind of a, a real easy stroke there. Take that scratch out of the equation. Uh, and here's here's where I show myself getting down on the line of aim. And I think I explained this pretty good in the graph. But I want you to pay strict attention to my body here. That, that's, that cue is on the line um, from between the cue ball to the five ball. And I'm also at the, I'm stepping into this shot. You'll notice that I backed up a couple feet before I shot this shot. And I'm stepping into it while balancing my body and while making sure that cue is on the proper line. And at this point, and I've done this a million times, if I see I got down on the wrong line, I'll stand back up and start again. I won't go moving that stick around. Or tilting my head to, to where it looks like it's aimed right, but it's really not. Um... I mean, if you're looking down the barrel of a gun and you're sighting your target um, and you don't move the gun, but you move your head till it looks like it's targeted, um, you're still going to miss. It just looks like you're going to make it. So be aware of that. I don't want to get real super, super analytical here because there's so much to this. Um, you have to keep your eyes level on a level plane with, with the pool table. Um, you, 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 and nothing on your body can move um, while you're shooting this ball, including your stick. You can't go moving your stick around to find over the bridge or or your backhand to make it look like it's lined up. You have to stand back up and tr you know adjust your stance and try to get down again in that line of aim. So we're drawing back here on this six ball way back to the bottom round to bounce up for the six. And we're going to cut here and put a graph of that five ball shot in here. You need to really be like a robot. And, and from an upward position as you're looking at this ball and as you're lining up this shot, you, you need to put your cue down on the line of aim. So if you extend this line from the object ball, through the cue ball, um, and then this is the line that your stick needs to get down on. Comprende? And then, then don't move. You don't want to be aiming balls while you're already down on the shot. And you don't want to be moving your head around until it looks right. And this gets a little bit complicated, but you have to teach your body and the muscles in your body to get down on this line. I think I drilled that home enough, didn't I? Uh, you can see it really, really illustrated in this shot that I'm about to take on this five ball. So I'm going to replay again the whole the whole ritual of getting down on the line of aim. All right, I think I said I'm going back to see this again, and I, I want you. To I'm, I just got into position off the four ball to get right there on the five. And we'll, you, you'll notice I back up a couple feet here. Take a real good look at it. Find the line. Get down on the line. Make sure my body's balanced. And stroke it. And this shot on the six, um, the problem here is we came up a little bit short. You don't want to be straight in, but you need an angle. My original plan was to shoot this 7 in the side and just roll up on the 8. 
and get you know get somewhere around here on the seven but you have to shoot this with a little bit of force and a little bit of cue ball movement so you can't just wuss this shot in because it is it's not a super thin cut but it is a cut shot um, so if you try to wuss it in you're just not going to make the six to the pocket it's never going to get to the pocket and it, you know, it doesn't matter how great you get on the seven. Um, so you have to make sure you make this shot. That's number one. And because we're we're putting a little bit of inertia on this ball, um, we're going to have to settle for trying to go up. I try. I, mean, I say trying because I already know what happened. I try to go up and get behind the seven to shoot it in the corner and just draw back on the eight on the right position on the eight. Um, to get back on that nine, but, um, well, let's just roll it and I'll show you what happened. Sh shooting it in the side is is not an option in my head at this point. I wind up shooting it in the side anyway. I tried to go behind, as I just said, behind the seven to shoot it in the corner, and it didn't quite get there. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this right here, and we're gonna um, we're gonna run the whole rack uh, uncut without me yakking, um, and just uh, just enjoy the rack and enjoy the run out one through nine.